to me about student loans. I owed over $100,000 just four years ago. If I'm our nominee, we will be the party of the future. And we need brain in this country to turn it around. That I can tell you right now. Back. In taxes and we've grown 350,000 jobs to earn legal status for those that are here. Uh, not, not amnesty, earn legal status, which means you pay a fine and do many things over an extended period of time. Illegals out. And, and, and otherwise, we're going to keep talking about this for the next 30 years like we have for the last 30 years. I have never supported amnesty, and I led the fight against Chuck Schumer's Gang of Eight amnesty legislation in the Senate. The inquisitions. We need a president that shows the courage that Egypt's president, al-Sisi, did, a Muslim, when he called out the radical Islamic terrorists who are threatening the world. Iranian mullahs have, have their blood on their hands, and we need to take out ISIS with every tool at our disposal. We'll do it extremely effectively. We'll have yourself great plans, and then we have to take care of the people that can't take care of themselves, and I will do that through a different system. I miss, but Brett, and Brett, everybody, and build a stronger United States of America again. It will be and can be done. I know. Frankly, fixing our immigration system and turning it into an economic driver is part of this as well. We can do this. I've been lied to. We need a strong leader to tell the truth and fix it. All right, this is but that 30 loading off the system now. That's why it ought to be a transformed system. Again, Chris, hundreds and hundreds of deals. Four times I've taken advantage of the laws, and frankly, so has everybody else in my position. Yes. ...at your head and loads it. By God, you ought to take them seriously, and we need to take that seriously. His brother's administration were a catastrophe, and unfortunately, those few months gave us President Obama, and you can't be happy about that. We have to go out and get the job done. God gives me unconditional love. I'm going to give it to my family and my friends and the people around me. In Iran is a disgrace, and it's going to lead to destruction in large portions of the world. Uh, of dying, and we've turned it all around with jobs and balanced budgets and rising credit and tax cuts, and the state is unified, and people have hope again in Ohio. We fought the teachers' union. This president has had weak leadership, which has led to bad choices. we got to stop worrying about being loved and start worrying about being respected, and that's exactly how I'll lead our country.